Let's go! Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Snack World, the Dungeon Crawl Gold on Nintendo Switch. We are entering Chapter 6, as you guys can see over here. Really excited for it, not really sure what's going to happen. Uh, we're over here at the Hotel Habanero. We've got to go meet up with the crew just to see how we're going to thwart uh, Vinegar's evil plans. If you guys have missed the previous episodes, go check them out. There is a link in the description for the playlist, and if you guys didn't already, leave a comment on the previous episodes explaining what your favorite part of each of those chapters were. Do so, that's exactly what we're doing for the giveaway. I'm gonna randomly choose one of the comments randomly within the videos, and we'll give away a digital code. It'll be super cool, so make sure you guys do that. And while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe. Anyway, uh, excited for this, so let's jump in. Uh, yeah, we're over here in Hotel Habanero. Let's, uh, let's see exactly what's going on. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, her! Her! Yeah, I liked her a lot. I forget her name, but she was awesome in the Japanese version. Welcome, welcome. Do you have a reservation? Do you have reservation? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, it should be under Valute. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Valute, yes? I have a room ready for you now. Wow, you are first time in Metropolis. Please, Mr. Dim Sum is talking in broken English. I don't know how that's gonna fare well. Anything you want, no. You ask Honey Bun here, okay? Uh -huh. What is it now? Huh? Uh, are you seeing anyone, Honey Bun? Hey. Yes. None of your business. Ouch. That's okay, cold. Okay. okay, if you want, uh, you want information, yes? But here in Metropolis, information not cheap. Please, thank you. First you scratch someone's back, then they scratch yours. Many backs to scratch in Sydney. Yeah. Alright, uh, crack on with your quest. What did that say? I guess I'm just gonna follow this area, so anyway, welcome to it. What? What is it saying? Hold on, hold on. Hello. Ah, so many guys are bugging me lately to go out with them. Ugh, not me. I'm just gonna make a date with all of them at once and get it out of the way. Help me out? Ah, uh, Butterscotch Borens be there at 12? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Forget uh, Malonia, man. Forget that. Okay, 12 o'clock, Butterscotch Barons then. And come armed. Take me on, take on me, honey bun. Yes. They're all in Butterscotch Barrens. All right, take, I, I guess we got our quest. <laughs> Let's go meet up with honey bun. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yep, see you there. We're gonna go auto equip, beautifully done, and we are out of here. Let's get this over with. <laughs> I don't really even like that frog with the sword. I need like a dedicated healer, man. Maybe Honey Bun's gonna fill that role. I don't know. Okay, this is eerily familiar. Like, I legit have feedback, or like, I've got memory of playing this specific beginning spot from the Japanese version. It's so crazy. Eerie. Alright, uh, there's Diclops. Just died. Alright, I mean, there's a big boss over here. It typically holds out trash, uh, treasure chests, so we might as well just see what we got. Okay, I'm kind of dying here. So, we're going to... Who's saying that? My ball. Did my team die? I just died! Give me up, Peter Pan! Oof, oof! Oh my gosh, he's dead! Yo, we got wiped! Um. So. That's a thing. So, hey little child, do you want to see what real hero work looks like? 
This is level 32 quest. I'm not even level 32. You're crazy. Let's get this over I'll try it again, but I won't go that way. Shut up. Who's, who was saying that? <laughs> All right, totally not going that way, even though there's a treasure chest right there. I'm going to dip in, get the chest, and dip out. Thank you. See ya. Team, 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 stay alive. Just teleport over here. There we go. There we go. Who's this? Pork chops? Nope. We don't eat pork. Sorry. Teleport over here, guys. Let's go. Wait, Bun Bun, you're helping me? Oh, your name's not Bun Bun. Piggy! Oh, yeah, you better run, pigs. Yo, we don't eat pork products in this house. Yo, that's dash attack. What are we trying to do here? Your mommy, mommy. <laughs> I've had it up to here with you. We're done here. Next. Oh, they got that jumping stomp attack. Oh my gosh, I'm out of here. Cin Cin Ciderella getting KO. That's fine. I'm okay as long as I'm fine. We good? That'll do. You're a mighty indeed. Oh my gosh, Motarium? Just one more. Are these the guys that are asking Honey Bun out on dates? Well, I'm not about to find out. There's too many turds here. I'm out. Too narrow of a corridor. I'm getting rocked and owned at the same time. Oh, that's the melon guy. Shut up. Who's doing that? It's Mask Melon. Oh, he's got a fallback attack too. FBA. I like the sword. I like it so much I broke it. Oh, someone debuffed him. Awesome. Whoever did it, good job. Thank you, bun. I got some spaghetti. I'll cook it for us for dinner. It's over. We're done, Abdallah. Thank. Wait, honey bun, it's me, Gobson. You should take on me. What does this take on me? What is this take on me? Is that is that like the song? Take on me. All right, what is this? Oh, Gobson. I don't want to fight Gobson. I hate this guy. Get shot, kid. Oh, he just smacked me in the mouth. Keep shooting, Gobson. Gobson's a little punk. Yo, did he just fall back attack? Get over here. Yo, he just knocked out Honey Bun. And knocked out two of my other dudes, Gobson, this guy. Yeah. 
It's fine. I don't need to get him up. Ew! He farted on me. I hate Gobson. Get up. <laughs> get up, Ciderella. Yeah, we're done here. Thanks, Abdallah. You're, you're just going to ignore me? That's right. Get used to it. Gobson is a punk, man. He just knocked her out and then is expecting um, her to actually pay attention to him. Okay, GG's. All right, awesome job. We got 20 bucks out of that, and uh, we might get we might get Honey Bun as a character. I need a cool shield. That'd be that'd be really cool. Yeah, dude. Yes, yes. New Jara shield. Wind protection. Cool, man. Check that out. Give me that now. This thing. Gives protection against wind attacks when blocking. Wow, cool, dude. Dark darkness resilience, fire resilience, and it's 70% blocking, which is really good. That's better than like my 40% blocking. So it's safe to say that that is our new shield. That should keep them off my back for a while. Honey bun, I want another date. I want another dig in the ribs. Veritably, uh, that pounding was the best I've ever had. See, the passion was intense. I want more. Okay, everyone, back off. I'm Honey Bun's date, okay? Me, Gobson, a love machine. E I'm going home. Let me trotter along beside you and carry your bag. Let me escort you, perhaps, to the bathhouse? I find your cold-hearted knockbacks irresistible. No, scram, losers. Honey Bun's mine. Ah. Uh. Okay, that was cool. So we did the Honey Bun quest. Easy, right? And we didn't get auto befriend of Honey Bun yet. Ah, you back. You have visitors. Someone come to see you over there. Um. Hello, my name is Mr. Wolfman. Uh, Wolfman? Doesn't ring a bell. That's right. I mean, my surname is Wolfman, one word, and by day I'm a regular businessman. But I'm actually a wolf man. I tell you what, just give me a moment. Yo, is he actually a wolf man? He is actually a wolf man. Okay, okay, this is kind of familiar. A round lamp like that there is enough to precipitate my transformation, you see. Well, do you believe me now? You really are a wolf man. Oh good, you believe me. Usually I don't transform unless I see a full moon. But sometimes if conditions are right, any bright round object can trigger it. <laughs> anyway, let me get right to the point. Word is you're looking for a way to sneak inside Vinegar's HQ, the distillery. Uh, an old friend of mine, Vampire, might be able to help you out with some useful information. We're old friends, we go way back. Uh, did he suck your blood? Ah, uh, that's just an urban myth. He loves garlic as well, by the way. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. There will be time to explain how I know him later. For now, I need you to come with me to Minis Minestrone Mines. There's another key player I need you to meet there. I'll fill in all the blanks once I've made the journey, okay? Hey, journey to Minestrone. Okay, so that's going to be side quest. Uh, or actually, no, that's going to be main quest, right? Yeah, this is actually main quest. So, I remember seeing a small child on the outside. Let's go do her quest. Just for the sake of doing it. And uh, once we're done with that, then we'll go to the Ministroni. Oh my gosh, who in the world is this? Are you there? Help an old sea cat out? It's a purrate. Okay. Yes, tis me. Trademark move. See, I've lost the ability to wield it. I suffered a nasty sprained ankle when I was practicing it the other day. Tis all healed up now, my injury, but nev uh, but ever since it happened, well, it's like I'm a stripped-down version of my former self. Don't give up, Purrit. You'll get there in the end. Yeah, you can't throw in the towel. Excuse me? Stick at it, Purrit. We believe in you. Uh, you're too kind. Uh, what do you say, sailor? Happy to spar with this old sea cat, are you? 
Nothing would purr leaves me more than to master my trademark move again. Yeah, I'll fight him. Uh -huh. It can't be that hard. Ah, tis good of you to agree. Hooray! See you later then, Purrate. <laughs> good luck. Uh, we're all rooting for you. Kind words, kind words. So, let's be underway. Okay, trademark move. Uh-huh. Alright, well, I suppose it's time to weigh anchor and set sail on the quest. Alright, well, let's do it. We can get a cool... Oh, what? A super boss? I don't know if I can handle a super boss, guys. We get a new sword, which is a cat's claw. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look, it says... The outlook is terrible. Oh my gosh, the outlook is... We've seen outlook poor, right? Outlook is poor. What's below poor? Terrible. We are completely underleveled for this. My goodness. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know about this. Oh, so the parade is actually with me now. Okay, I think we can do it. I'm just gonna run past everything. Pick up the money on the ground. Run past stuff. Find the way out really quick and call it a day. Pick up all the trash on the ground. Great. And my team is probably dead. And I'm getting owned. Wow, there's one person already downed. What's that smell? It's awful. Yeah, it's me farting. I get it. Oh, sweet mystery door. What a lifesaver. What's that smell? <laughs> hey! Hey! It's yours for the taking. Please just give me the grand prize right here. Thank you very much. Not even. Stop farting. Some slippery, and I was farting a bit. Okay, great. Watch these sick 360s, though. I can fight Medusa. Medusa's easy. One does not simply walk away from free stuff on the ground. Oh, sweet! Yo, I don't know if that's like dumb luck or what. Oh, great. Fight me! I didn't mean to heal, that was a misclick. Oh, this guy, Landshark, does not like this hit. Oh, I don't have anything super effective against these spotlights. What are they saying? Like, ladies first. I got a USB jump drive. That's pretty cool. I go for one of those. All right, what's happening now? Oh, we're here already. We've made it. Okay, so ladies and gents, here we go. Another brawl against Medusa. This is Super Medusa, though. Super Medusa. Let's fight. Okay. Okay. Oof! 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 Oh my gosh, wow, she's a volleyball on me out here. It's fine. We know what to do here. Whoa, whoa, you're kidding! Dang! She's gonna volleyball me from downtown! Oh! Okay, good.
Dude, what? Can you stop? Squigglies! What? Oh, double, double tail whip? I don't know if I can handle that. All right, heal up. I don't like these minions. The minions movie. Oh gosh, oh gosh, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a million of those hits! All of them got me! <laughs> Holy cow, dude! Because I was distracted by my team being a liability. Stop! Ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm only at one third health down. Nope, not today, Satan. Where is she? Oh my gosh, where is she? How come the camera didn't zoom into her? Help me, help me, help me. I'm dead too, here we go. Quick heal. Fire the laser. You can't be doing this to me. Get him, boys. I hate these little squigglies, man. Broke it. Go ahead. Throw me another one. Heal me, though! Oh my gosh. Come on, dual blades, let's go. I can use them as meat shields. Okay, 40% is up. Good job. Way to go, Frogger. Oh my gosh, if multiple of those little squigglies hit you, it's over. Avalanche. I don't know, I did something. I don't know what that means. Oh, I hate these squigglies so much. Oh! <laughs> Get me up! Yo, are you actually getting me up or what? Am I too close to the edge? Don't die though. Come on, Peter Pan. Come on, Peter Pan. Thank you, my goodness, thank you. Don't worry, I'll I'll repay the favor. Whoa, these things. Oh my gosh. I'll repay the favor. I got you, dude. Ow! Get her! She's not even messing around! I'm out of heals! Get him, boys! I'm out of heals. I'm out of heals. How much health do I have? This much health. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you heal me? Thank you, girl.
Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can go Genie! Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot I had Genie. Let's go, Genie! Ooh, ooh! Ow, oh, stop! Not fair! I'm gonna get one hit in. Oh my gosh, not fair. It's not my snack meter. Right out of the closet, baby! Yeah! Right out of the closet! <laughs> oh my gosh. My snack meter was just about to go down. That was so hard, man. You have no idea how hard that actually was. Talk about being under leveled, am I right? My goodness gracious, what the heck just happened? I ran out of heals. Peter Pan revived me one time. I swear if I don't get this thing. I need the cat's claw right, in my life. Like I needed the crystal blade, right? <laughs> Alright, booty calls, mad. Booty calls, let's go. Four. No gold ones, but whatever. Boo, boo. I, well, the cat flask is good. This one's got a vacation spray with experience boost. That's good. Like, I like it. Uh, yeah. I can use it. The cat spray's good. I'm fine. I beat Super Medusa, though, and that's really. If beating Super Medusa at the level that I'm at is an achievement, man. And tell me I could bring this guy. Safely back ashore, yet no sign of my trademark are coming back to me. R, tis as I fear, this old sea cat's whiskers are a waning. Ah, stay away from me. Hear yonder scream, Abdallah, there be trouble. Hurry. Who in the world? Yo, that's a face puck? You got dirt on my clothes, so you're gonna pay for it, got it? All right, don't worry, youngins, I'll save you. Come on now, trademark move, don't let me down. Whoa, three waves, that was cool. Bad move, stripes, you're on my blackness now. Face puck. What the heck is a face puck? Okay. Uh, thanks, Parade. You were awesome. You did it. See, you use your trademark move. Congratulations. Great job, Parade. I knew you could do it. Thank you, youngins. Tis enough to move an old sea cat to tears. And thank ye, Abdal. I couldn't have done it without your help. Now take my snack shot. As long as there be wind in my sails, I'll do what I can to help ye. Arr, you're the best. That's cute. Auto snack, man. All right. Cool. Okay, Cuddy McCutless. Cuddy McCutless. Cool. I'll swap out like that other stupid frog that I'm not really too fond of. <laughs> Big cats don't shy away from anything, huh? That's the way it should be. I like you best when you're in command, Parade. Yeah, you're so cool. R, well, tis time to be heading home, youngins. Uh, your elders will be brooding. Yeah, okay. Well, that was an easy quest that we just knocked out. That was really fun. Good job. Yar. Yar, matey. All right, so actually, let's assign him. He seems pretty cool. Uh, he seems like a party snack. I'd like him better than this dude. This supporter is good. Like, I like her. This guy's strength is decent. But this frog's gotta go. 80s across the board? I don't know how good he is. He's got super spinning slash, cutback, deep slash. I don't know. It's kinda rare. Mega rare. The genies, man. I love those genies. Let's bring him in. Oh, we got Robo? Dude, Robo is good, actually. Homing Lightning, Ally Defense Boost, Gradual Heal. Dude, why am I not using Robo? 
Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's go Pinocchio, man. Was no Pinocchio? Yeah, Cinderella is. Cinderella is good. All right, so this is fine. Attacker, Cuddy McCutless. Cuddy McCutless. Okay. There was a little child over here at the very beginning of town. I almost got hit by a bus, just like in Yokai Watch. Uh, where, wasn't there a little child? Yeah, you. Are you lost? Oh, you haven't seen my Veginald, have you? Sorry, I should explain. Veginald is my pet Vegibulldog's name. He looks kind of like a dog and kind of like a vegetable. I really want to go look for him myself, but apparently it's too dangerous. Can you go find him for me, please? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna find your stupid dog. Thank you, you're the best. Okay, you need to head over to the Butterscotch Barons. Vanished Veggie, rank 6 quests. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is gonna be Vanished Veggie. I got a rescue. Uh, and I can get a mirror shield. Cool. Please help me. My, my pet's gone missing. And I'm gonna auto-equip because my outlook is looking real poor right now. <laughs> so hilarious. Like, really funny. Let's get this over with. Yo, Pinocchio is here. Pinocchio. You've got a Vegeta Bulldog? What's your Vegeta Bulldog's name? Okay, not too bad. <laughs> Vegeta Bulldog's name is Bennett. That's cute. I don't even know what a Vegeta Bulldog is. Is it like an actual bulldog? <laughs> what is actually happening to my team right now? How do I get my team stronger? Cause that's something I need to find out. Croc Ness just got owned. Sorry, dude. Who's this? Oh, it's a land shark. Yeah, you're done. If land shark says eek, it's over. Oh, holy cow! Ow! Oh, I took 74 damage from that! Wow, that's actually really cool, the Avalunge. It's a really cool uh, Jara break attack or whatever that is. Oh, 255! Gone in one hit, I'm out. Guys, finish him off. Finish him off. Wait! What's this pig? Oh, the Vegeta Bulldog saved me! Wow! This random Vegeta Bulldog? Veginald saved me. Vegeta Bulldog. Thanks, little guy. Yo, I ate that one hit. I was too busy in a combo. Like I'm playing MKT or something. All right, here we go. Yo, the Vegeta Bulldog saved me. I can't believe that. Lava Boy. Who keeps on dying? Vegeta Bulldog, you know what to do. Oh yeah, a pair of toy gems, cool. Whoa, rare item. Oh, that's what I just needed to pick up. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. That's fine, so I rescued the Vegeta Bulldog. It's a funny name, Vegetable. Vegetable? Vegetable Bulldog? I keep on calling it Vegeta, like I'm pronouncing every little syllable. No one pronounced vegetables, right? It's vegetables. <laughs> Stupid, man. Alright, give me this mirror shield, please. 
Thank you. I'll gladly take it. Petrification Reflection. Wow, that would have been helpful a couple uh, battles back against Medusa. A Veginald is a dog. Yeah, Veginald, he's like a... He's a dog. You can see him. There you go. You made it. Thanks so much, Veginald. Are you okay? I'm fine. In fact, thanks to this amazing adventurer here, I've never been better. Thank goodness, but why did you run off like that to find food? Because I wanted you to taste how delicious properly properly veggies can be. Eat your greens and you'll be full of beans. That's what I always say. Hey, thanks, Veginal. I'm looking forward to dinner tonight already. Go give these greens to your mom and dad so they can cook them up for you. Okay, sure. Bye for now. Wait, you lost your dog, but you are going to leave your dog there? Like, take your dog home. What are you doing? It's a corny line, but it really is a tough old world out there. I mean, everything I told her was true, but, well, she doesn't know the whole story. The whole story? Metropolis is always in darkness. My mistress doesn't know what it feels like to have the sun beating down on you. That's really why I want her to eat fresh vegetables, to get a bit of sun in her heart. If she does that, I'm sure she'll sprout into a good, honest citizen. It's soy heartbreaking, heartbreaking to think she's never even experienced sunshine. And it's not her fault, she's just a kid. It's the greedy adults that are to blame. Anyway, thanks again. You're okay. You're okay, you know that? I won't go wandering off on my own anymore. Don't worry, and you take care too. That's it? I'm not even gonna get a vegetable bulldog? It's fun. I got my mirror shield. I'm happy. Alright, what else you got? Who else is in this town that needs help? Me? I'm here. We're gonna go story quests. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Journey to Minestrone. Let's do it. Auto equip the Jaras and let's get outie. The journey to Minestrone. And we got the Wolfman. Wolfman by night, businessman by day. How does that even work? Okay, we've been here before. Whoa, what is this? Chase the trust? What, run away with riches? Whoa, hold on, hold on. Where is it? I just beat it up. Okay, cool. I don't know what the heck that was, but it was awesome. It made me feel like I got something really lucky. Here's Nutcase. Yo, Nutcase is strong, man. What a Nutcase. A blonde bone. Alright, I mean, these are mats that we're gonna use, right? Two blonde bones. Alright, cool. Thank you. It says to go that way, but I see some materials over here, and I'm I'm just gonna go pick these up. Thank you. Nutcase. Alright, let's continue moving, shall we? Bullhorn? Using the staff to spit some magic shots at it? Heck yeah. Oh, I hate this car. This car is so strong, it destroys me. Pelter, guys. Because he's pelting you with stupid little energy attacks. Got you. Melonia card C. Excellent. We will use that. Ella, Ella chick? Wait, this is a charge move? Whoa! I did not know the staves had that in them. Holy moly. Okay, I didn't realize that you can charge up a stave or a staff, just like in Blasters, if you had a charge move. Like if you're a ranger, you can do some charge moves. That was cool. Tree Huggy. Better watch out for those spots on the ground. Hey, 
There we go. Big charge attack. Did a home run. I don't know if you heard that like home run sound effect. I don't know what that does though. It seems like a super critical hit. Holy heck, I hate this guy. Dead, dead, dead! Oh my gosh, help me. He's coming right for me. Well, as long as I stay away, he's not going to use the, um, the big attack. As long as I stay at a distance, he's only aiming for me. That's fine. This is absolutely fine. The rest of the teammates are just chipping away at him while he's coming for me. That's such a cheese strat. Squirrel Squire. Oh, sweet. Experience. So we haven't gotten... I haven't really used those experience little things in a while, so I may be sitting on some. Okay, so we made it to the mines. That means that this quest is done. And then we're going to jump in the mines in the next two quests, and we should be good. Beautifully done. All right, we need some uh, four-leaf clovers, man. Hook them up. Send them in the comments. We need some good luck. I want to get this item. It was really fun. I thought that level was okay. Beating up on these enemies. Um, learned a little cheese strat of luring out the boss while the rest of the teammates were doing work. And then Pinocchio's there, so Pinocchio's good. Oh, we already have one. Remember, we got it from that crazy chest. But we'll take another one. What the heck not? Six. Let's go. We didn't get another one. That's fine. We have one. New effect. Gradual recovery. And we got two medium uh, experience stars. That's all you need in life. Is just experience stars, man. You don't have to battle all the enemies. Just run past them. Ew. What is this? Wolfie. Fido, look. I brought a really tough looking adventurer with me. Uh, Fido? Uh, yeah. I always call Fido Stein here Fido for short. So that's a dog. It's like a Frankenstein, but a dog. I always call him Wolfie because Wolfman is such a mouthful. Oh, and just to clue you in, we call Vampire Pie Pie as well. Three of us used to live together until not long ago. We were all employed by Mr. Armament, the, the top weapons merchant in the world. I was the butler, Fido was the guard dog, and Pie Pie was the bodyguard. Even though we were monsters, uh, the master always treated us kindly. But then Vinegar came along, he saw our master as a threat. So we attacked the master's residence with dragons. We tried our best to defend the place, but, well, we couldn't save it, or the master. Stinks. So the three of us swore vengeance on Vinegar. But then, for some reason, Pi Pi went off the rails. He started working for Vinegar as a boss monster in Minestrone Mines. I just don't get it. Why would Pi Pi go work for that lowlife, huh? Vinegar must be manipulating him somehow. The point is, if we can talk Pi Pi back around, he might be able to help you find a way into the distillery. 
please, you've got to help us make Pi Pi see sense again. He's like family yes. to us. Oh, that's cute. The Fangdango. <laughs> All right, well, that's 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 absolutely really cute. Uh, let's take a look at this inventory. I have some stars to use, baby. We're at 22 right now. That's not too bad. Check out these big stars. That's like half of a level. It's cool, like half a rare candy. We'll take it. All right, so next up, story quest. Here we go. The oh, is that that means that we're gonna be done then, huh? I'm looking at this time over here. We're at 45 minutes up. All right, if we can beat it, we can beat it, right? Prevail over Pi Pi. We better auto equip and get out of here, huh? Look at this. Uh, our outlook is terrible. I love it. I love it, man. Let's get this over with. That's actually really crazy because usually in games like these, I will grind the heck out of them, right? I'll do every little quest. I will do everything to make sure that I'm at an advantage when I play, right? To be over leveled is such a delicacy. But now we're playing through this entire game under leveled. It's pretty interesting. So that means that if I could do it under leveled, then that means that you guys should be do should be able to do it regularly leveled. Anyway, I digress. Let's uh, let's go in these mines and see what's up. Although I kind of want to see what it feels like to get these geniuses. Actually, you know what? I'm not about to fight these dudes. No, nah, we're out. Easy random first level. Let's go. Forget about it, man. I'll take these chests though. That's a turd. I knew it was a turd and I stepped on a turd. It's unfortunate. Sorry guys. You're gonna have to bear with me on these little stink bombs. Very familiar, these mines. Easy, baby. Easy. Give me a better, give me a harder puzzle than that, my guys. Oh, what is this? Ah, uh, lame. It's fine. Let's go, team. Look at this ragtag band of characters. We got a, a uh, an overweight Robin Hood. We got a robot that has a heel fetish. This is a weird game. Who's this? Cory Bunkle? Hey, thanks. That's kind of cool. I guess I'll take it. If it sparkles, I'll absolutely take them. Nada? Nada. Shut up! Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. This is the best game. All right, we're out. Get ready to fight this uh, this guy. Oh, yo, look who's here. What's up, girlfriend? Oh, we got an attack boost. Let's get healed up and let's go. So we have that leftover attack and speed boost. Yeah, let's fight Dracula. Let's get Pi Pi. You guys ready for Pi Pi? Did he just say pi? Oh my gosh! And I got poisoned, my guy! You mean to tell me I've been using this charge shot wrong with the bow? Are you kidding me? Look. I don't honestly know what this Jara break does.
There we go. Now we're back in here. Oh, it's a short range attack, but it didn't do any uh, uh, JP drain. Oh gosh, the bats! Oh, we stunned him, nice! This is, is this not the easiest boss? guy okay wow liability sorry Someone's got a really super effective attack against him. Oh, here we go. Destroy the... There we go. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. He was right on that little lava trap. Look at these long legs. Yeah, that's me right there. That's me right there. See that? That's me. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Oh, nice. We got something cool. I don't know what it was, but we got it. Yo, that was really easy. Was that supposed to be hard? We saw his weak point. Whenever he turned into bats, you just attack all the bats, and if you knock a majority of them out, then he reveals his weak point. He seemed to be weak against the bow. So, we just kept on attacking, and then I finally dawned on me that you can hold the charge move of the bow for massive damage, just like in Blasters, man. We're playing Blasters, dude. Alright, cool. Give me that Arista Cat Shield. I need it. Alright, here we go. You guys know the drill by now. Let's go. Give me that luck in the comments. You guys have been doing a really good job with that. Seriously. With the little, um... The little luck emotes. I need something, man. Finally, a little extra something for you. 2D fruity bonus. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get in three. It's all the chests. Great. Here's one. Here's two. Oh, yeah, baby cats. Good job. This is for you, Tari. That's for you, Goku, Mike, Ash, Amber, Himmy, Chocobo. Yeah, dude. Got it. Nice, Aristocat Shield. Hey, cats. Anything with cats on it, man. 75% blocking. Drop rate boost. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, man, let's go. Whatever. If it gets in the mix whenever I do Auto Jara, then that's what it's gonna be. Pie Pie! Why are you working for Vinegar? Come on, Pie Pie, talk to us. I came to realize a simple truth Sultan Vinegar is unbeatable. What? Destruction. But I know the two of you will never forget what he did, that you won't rest until you get your chance to fight him again. And I know that if that happens, you both face certain death. But why does any of that uh, mean you needed to go sell out to the guy? By working for him as a dungeon boss, I'm gaining his trust. 
That will allow me to get close to him, and then... Then I'll destroy him myself. Well, why the heck didn't you tell us that was your plan before? That's not a burden to take on alone, Pi Pi. We're family, the three of us. I'm sorry, Wolfie. Ha, ah, Pi Pi's back. From now on, it's one for all and all for one. Uh, yeah, it's great you guys made up. So how do we get to Vinegar? Hey. Hey, tall guy. Down here. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Our friend here wants to know how to infiltrate the distillery. How to infiltrate Vinegar's headquarters. Yeah, a top dungeon boss like you must have the inside track on all that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> Not really, I'm just a pawn in this game, nothing more. Information like that is top secret, he wouldn't tell me. What the? What the? Gosh, I don't know what to say after I got you involved in all of this too. I can't think how to make it up to you unless... Well, we'll take a snapshot a snack shot of me if you want, then you can summon me to do battle whenever you'd like. Hey, I like Wolfman, he's pretty cool. But like, we're getting a lot of, we're getting a lot of snacks that are like attacking snacks. I have no like healing snacks. So these guys are all dime a dozen, like, if you can survive, cool, but like at the same time, like what are we doing with that? Do I ever want to turn into him? No, I can always turn into the genies. Use Wolfie wisely. He means a great deal to me. I mean, maybe. Maybe there's a strategy outside the genies. I don't know. So Vampire is throwing in the towel. Pity. I was hoping to use him more. I need all my monstrous employees working as hard as they can. Otherwise, I won't sell enough weapons, will I? Oh yes, that's. But of course, that only matters now, before Smorgasbord's resurrection. Yes, once we have that deadly dragon's power at our fingertips, the world's monsters will go berserk. Then everyone will be running to our weapon stores to arm themselves. We'll make a killing sultan an absolute killing. I Very good, Balsam. Understand. You and I are always on the same wavelength. I'm looking forward to your next genius idea to make me more money. Yes, sultan. So, now it's time to employ our trump card. Mwah. What's the trump card? Alright, cool. New side quest available. Awesome. Alright, here's a little sneak peek into the next chapter, guys. Morning, Abdallah. Did you have any luck figuring out how to get into the distillery? You you either, huh? Ah, uh, how are we going to get inside Vinegar's HQ? There's got to be a way. I have to be someplace. Huh, what? I have something to do. Yeah, defeat Vinegar, right? Just like the rest of us? Oh, yeah. Wait, you're not sneaking off to catch up with Princess Melonia on Pixie Chat? No. Hey. I'd like you to come along with me, Abdallah. What? what? Only Abdallah? No one else? Yeah. No one else. Uh, sure. Uh -huh. so. I'll fill you in on the fine details on the way. Follow me. Yeah. Well, what are we supposed to do then? I guess we should try to gather more information. Let's tackle some quests. Right yeah, let's do it. Chapter 7. Who done it? Muscles in a pickle. Okay. Okay, I'd like you to help me with my investigation. While I was asking questions around town before, a certain man kept coming up. A man's name kept coming up. He's a detective here, and apparently he's looking into Vinegar's activities. So I think our first move should be to track him down. Okay, what does he look like? The guy we're looking for is described as extremely muscular. In fact, he sounds like the kind of macho man obsessed with his own physique. Macho, macho man. <laughs> He's looking, that's exactly what I said in my head. And then it came on screen. That happened at least three times during this Let's Play. He's looking into whether Vinegar's factories have been producing suspect goods. I heard he's checking out products in the local department store. Balonies. Let's start looking there. Balognas. And here's the cat. Okay, that's fun. That's great, I love it. What's up, cat? <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be the end of the chapter. Uh, let's uh, let's do a little bit of uh, fine-tuning of what we have in our inventory 
just so that we're ready for the next chapter. So thanks for watching. Are you guys gonna be here? Raise, sh show hands in the comments. Who's coming to the next episode? Who's coming to chapter seven later on tonight? That's what I had planned. Chapter seven. Who's coming? All right, let's take a look. So gear, uh, I think our gear is looking good. Anything changing about luck today? What did it say on the thing? It said, uh, world news, bewitching band, uh, miracle points. Okay, don't need that. This is, hot brand is Packer at Lapa. Hot color is green. Hot style is sporty. Okay, that's interesting. The dark wand at the Hero Mart store. What? I kind of want to go back. Go to Medusa's mad hair to get that miracle reward. Oh my gosh. All right, we have five of these points. I can go character traits. I need, what was I trying to get? We were trying to go for strength 20 and I need five points for the strength 20. So we might as well, here we go, enjoy. So that's good. So now we have strength plus 20, we're a lot stronger. Good, I like it. But that stinks because now I'm just like broke on these life points and I gotta level up like eight times in order to get cash boost. Dang, I need cash boost so bad. Okay, so we don't need that. Pix eBay, Pixie Pals, I think we're all set with that. Uh, I do want to take a look. Oh, you know what I do want to do? I want to go back. I want to go back to town. I'm not going to go advance the next quest or the chapters or take any of those things. No, I'm not. I'm going to see if I can go back to town. Oh, oh, dang, never mind. I have to actually take the train. You think there's a third world? Look. There's, there's obviously three places, right? So I want to go to the Outfitter, and I want to see if we can potentially buy another uh, couple books. Because that's what I like buying with my with my money. I like buying those books. So I can make my own clothes, right? Just like in real life. <laughs> non pareils Oh, come on. What do you mean there's no more? What? <laughs> Just like I make my own clothes in real life. <laughs> see this jacket? I made this jacket. Where'd you get it, Abdallah? Ah, uh, that's a thing. All right, here we go. I got a whole bunch of cards for this dude. And look around, like, whatever. Don't talk to me. We're rank C, which is pretty good. So here, look at these. I got at least 650 points. Okay, our storeroom has been expanded. Yeah, let's go. And now we're rank B. Oh, uh, bow for 30 bucks. Lame. Polished silver sword. No, I mean, that's good. It's for 100 bucks. I got 253 bucks. I've got some pretty good stuff here. Look at this shield. Whoa. Gravy boost? Dude, gravy boost! That's actually cool. Overworld? Overlord effect? What is an overlord effect? Evil break. Strike surrounding enemies with a power attack and you suffer damage too. Wow. Okay, that's not something I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool stuff, but like I'm not about to go buy it. So nice knowing you All right, so that was interesting. Is there anything else that we need to outfit ourselves in? I haven't gone back to the inn in forever So this is where oh look uh, Jessica right is her name Jessica Jennifer Jennifer Yamamoto. Oh Man, I'm so good at remembering names. Hey Abdallah. Why don't you look at all you look all grown up? Just Jennifer Yamamoto All right, or maybe they call him exp. Yeah, maybe I don't know Anyway, perhaps you're ready for a quest. Uh, yeah, sure. I'd like you to go to Gumbo Grotto. There's some juicy shrimps and you need for cooking. Oh, this one's a, like, maybe a, a level two quest? Rank two? Yeah, the boy, you can do it, I'm sure. Yeah, it was a rank two quest. All right, that's cool. Um, you know, we've never actually looked in here, so let's see what's going on. Holy moly, what are you guys doing up here? <laughs> you guys have a quest you need? I will absolutely help you out. Oh, Abdallah, how are you, honey? I'm good. Exciting news, we're going into a new line of business. Uh-oh. Extreme makeovers. It's going to be so thrilling. It's for people who want to be different. We're going to make their dreams come true. Liar, liar, panties on fire. You know you just want to meet more handsome hunks. That guy's got like a bulging forehead. You see that third one? You beast. His forehead, like, point is pointy. Don't be so rude. We're not even open for business yet anyway. No, we can until we get our hands on you-know-what. 
Oh, why don't we just ask the delicious Abdallah to get it for us? Honey, you're a genius. We need to be able to go deep. We need the long reach lancet. Oh my gosh. It's the prized possession of a simply hideous golden snake queen called Uriley. If you got it for us, you'd be even hotter than you are now. Okay, uh, long reach lancet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. You're such a darling. Oh, we love you, Abdallah. We could eat you up. Please don't. We'll be waiting for you right here. I kind of want to do this quest and help them out. It's awesome. Why wouldn't you? Anyway, open this door. Who are you? Have you ever been to Metropolis? I have. I just came from there. Uh, but it's dark all the time. Uh-huh. What about you? What are you doing here? Okay, well that was interesting. I'm, I'm glad that we actually came back here because we got a new cool quest. That's really fun. Alright, let's see what else is here. Uh, I don't think I need to go anywhere else. I mean, taking a look at these story quests, we can do some of them, but not right now. Like, I've been doing pretty decent with, like, finding them in the last, like, fifth chapter. In the sixth chapter, I found all the ones, and then I did them in the episode, which were kind of cool. We totally skipped out on a couple of the story quests. But, like, the side quests, there's just, like, this is, like, the infinite grinding possibilities. Where you can go through and grind for the miracle rewards and, uh, and hopefully get them, which is pretty interesting. And then you can just do all these other beginner, beginner intermediate quests. Yeah, there's so many of them. It's for bounty... You get, uh, and then training. Uh, lovely leveling up fodder. Oh, so that's interesting. So you can come over here and fight these guys. And maybe they give you a boost in experience because it's called training. And then bounty is a cootied alert. What does that mean? Smacker shield. Oh, leveling up fodder. Ancient uh, city from the marsh. Careful. Uh, uh, groggy alert. Cootied. What is Cootie? Giant size alert? Oh my gosh, this is actually cool. Dress code brown. Oh, you need dress codes in actual in, in order to actually go in here? You need a, a specific dress code. You need to be like in brown attire in order to try to get this. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, quest level 40. And then this is double Medusa bosses. My goodness, I cannot wait until I'm strong enough to fight double Medusas. That would be so much fun. And how cool would it be to do that in multiplayer? Are you kidding me? Man, all right, get this game and hurry and beat it so we can play together. Who's gonna take me up on that? All right, let's see what we got here. That was fun, right? Outfitter Cafe in Fortune Teller, I haven't seen that. Uh, weapons shop. We've been we've been there. Convenience store. I might see. I might try to draw. I might try to draw if the first praise is available. Dark wand. I'm sorry. Pick a prize. It's here. What do you think? Should we do it? It's one out of eighty, guys. It's one out of eighty. And see, there's got to be something to it, right? I think this is like Granny Edna's. I honestly think it's the mechanics of Granny Edna's. Um, it's got to be some sort of like system clock thing. Because remember one time we walked into here and like the first prize was gone. The third prize is gone. Like there's got to be something to it. I, I don't know, man. This is like a hundred bucks. All right. You guys want to do it to end off the episode? Give me, give me a yes or no in the comments. If you're playing the odds, you would obviously wait. But it's just the gotcha. I'm sure this like demon wand or whatever is gonna be available as a grand prize in an upcoming level. So anyway, yes or no? Yes, a lot of you guys saying yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Take it or leave it, here we go, taking it. No, not with 100 gravies, Pff, no. Gotcha luck. Picking a ticket, any ticket. Third place, please. Seventh. It's unfortunate. You got it. That's one of the seventh prizes. 
That's the last prize. And there's many of them. Pfft, that stunk. What a waste. What a flippin' waste. Whatever, it's okay, I don't care. We're gonna get that wand either way. Convenience store, let's go inside and let's see what's, uh, oh yeah, we were actually here. What, honestly? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's what I don't understand. I don't understand bolt before a quest to boost your health and resistance. Oh, okay, okay. So if you eat these, oh, it's like Monster Hunter. It's like Monster Hunter, like that dungeon crawling game where you would just eat this stuff before a quest and you'd get these boosts that you would have during your quest. That's actually really cool. So now that I know that that's exactly what they're for, I was actually planning on selling them all. Um, okay, so I, if I eat this, I can boost health. This is boosting strength. This is boosting defense before the quest. That's kind of cool. Boost luck. That's kind of great. The one thing that I don't honestly remember though, since uh, maybe some of you guys remember from the old Japanese Let's Play, do you guys remember what the uh, the little uh, hearts are? Uh, these things. I remember these are like very useful. If you have one of these, you can give someone a nice one. Save it for when someone does something seriously special. It's like something with online. I don't know if you give it to them, they get a treasure or something. There was something about it. I honestly don't remember. So yeah, anyway, shine some light on that if you guys remember it. Um, so I've got some new Jara Burst skills. That's pretty cool. Changing the sword Jara Burst. That's what the little SD card things are for. The chips are really good. And then this is the familiarity boosting pops, which is fine. Um... Yeah, but I think this is going to be a multi online multiplayer only usage item. That's what that is. Uh, but other than that, I think we're ready to go. I think we're all set. Uh, jar holder's fine. I mean, I could do some stuff, right? I got two of these things, don't I? Start by able to fortify. Yeah, here we go. So I got these BE tonics. Yeah, I could I could actually make a level two on this one. But I need to find out which one, uh, which one of these guys. Defense plus two versus the other one? What's the other one? This one. Oh yeah, uh, Earth Resilience. That's garbage. So here we go. We're gonna able we're gonna fortify this with autocomplete. And now we got a level two. Which is great. So now whenever I heal, in order whenever I use it to heal, I'm going to get 53% health back. Which is good. Um <clears throat> Okay, um, B tonic allocated, uh, what else we got? Sorted by able to fortify. Okay, cool cologne, I don't think we need to fortify that stuff. It doesn't make any sense to spend any stuff on that. Vacation spray, I should though. Boost experience, and this one has lightning resilience. So we might as well boost this one. Uh, auto complete, yeah, sure. So there we go, so now we got the level two cat spray. I don't know what that did, but we have it. And then our headwear, I don't need any of this stuff. So what other things that you can do in the game is if you already made like, let's say this like uh, Robin Hood armor, if you already made it, you can make another one or you can like continuously fortifying it, making it even stronger than what it already is, which is kind of cool, especially some low end gear. So excited about that. Um, I don't think we need to do anything over here. I don't really, able to fabricate gents beret what is a gents beret boost your healing tonic to offer two extra heals that can come in handy to be honest and i could fabricate it right now that can really come in handy for two extra heals i think that's really good you think we should do it guys let me know in the comments battalion bandana i don't need the other trash these are garbage items gents beret though I think I'm gonna do it. All right, cool. And now my 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 defense and magic defense literally doubled, so I'm way better off. All right, that's really great. 
Oh, what about, uh, oh, I got the gent suit. All right, let's take a look. A large, uh, a large boost in the amount of healing received. I mean, oh, this is resistance to cooties. That's a status condition, cooties. Okay, great. And then uh, we're gonna sort by able to fabricate. So we can go terminus suit. It's pretty decent. A large boost to cooties, wind attacks. Moderate boost to cooties. Like I'm, I'm here for the passives. I'm honestly not here for the defense, but like if I really wanted to, I would probably rock this awesome suit because it looks awesome by the way. <laughs> what do you guys say? Should we just do it? Should we just go all in? Resistance to boogieing. I don't know what boogieing is. Is that like the farts? Or is it the cooties? I don't know, man. There's a lot of things. It looks good. It's actually a really snazzy suit. I can make it. And then I'll like double my defense, right? I got a lot of these materials, so let's just do it. It's the best thing that I could create. Look at this dapper guy right here. Heck yeah. So now I got really good defense. I've got really... Oh man, and I'm looking snappy. Yeah. I'm so ready for the next one. That was so good. Look at this cool kid. Yeah, dude, I'm ready. I got my business suit and everything. How do I get out of here? All right, we're going back to Metropolis, and then we're going to end off the episode. It'll be pretty fun. All right, so anyway, ending off the episode right in front of where we need to be, which is going to be right here. All right, right in front of you. All right, so this is great, man. I love this game. I need to save, though. I need to absolutely save. So here we go. Save, save, save. Pixie Diary. I'm ready to do another live stream. Let's go -y. Let's go -y like your middle name is Joey. All right. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This game is amazing. I, I truly hope that you guys are giving this game a chance as much as I am. It's a really fun game, and we're just playing it single player right now. We are, uh, you know, the entire online aspect of this game is really flawless. So make sure that you guys explore that avenue too. And trust me, I'll show you guys when a lot more of you guys get the game. Right now we're kind of in this pre-release phase uh, where like Australia's got it and that's how we have it. So anywho. Okay, so here we go. Next episode is going to be in the next 15, 20 minutes. So don't even worry. You think it's tomorrow, but it's not. We're going to bust out one more today. Uh, and then we're just gonna call it a night. And that's me streaming Snack World all day. And then we're gonna pick it up bright and early tomorrow. So anyway, so here you go. Uh, go into the chat right now and you guys should be able to see our, uh, our our stream right over here. So we're gonna do this in like 15 minutes. Go take a break. Go knock out um, some snacks. Go eat some snacks. You guys can be here like all these awesome people. Uh, William. Uh, Hi -O plays. We got uh, H. Fenton over here. Goku, Antoine, Himmy's in the house. Uh, Emerald's here too. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Snack World. Best game. Best game on Nintendo Switch. Try to change my mind. It's really a good one. Anyway, so that's it. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, let's jump on into the end screen and we'll call it. So again, like usual, if you guys already... Um, watch the previous episodes, awesome. Just make sure that you guys all comment on the videos and say what your favorite part about each chapter was so that we can enter you guys into the giveaway of a digital copy of the game a little bit later on, especially when we beat it. So anyway, thanks for coming. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Smash the like button, share it. There's some playlists on screen, watch those. Join the Discord, you can trade up some Jaras and trade up some different snacks with other people in order to fill up your entire roster if you're aiming for that. It'll be a fun time. All right, that's it. We'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes. I'll get the next live stream ready and you guys should be all set and ready to go. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.